All right, everybody, welcome to Troy's Hobbies. Um, we're in the middle of changing the electronics out here on the HL150. It's, um, it came with a brushed motor, uh, speed controller, and a fairly weak servo. Um, so what we're going to do today is swap this out with our uh, a brushless uh, 3970 kV brushless motor, um, a 60 amp brushless ESC, and a nicer Metal Gear servo, uh, 21 kilograms. It's about double the strength of the stock servo. So that's what we're going to handle today. Um, hopefully it'll all go smooth. Um, there might be an issue changing out this here, this pinion here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same diameter as the pinion shaft on this other motor. So that's something we'll look at as we go. Uh, in fact, I might just do that first just to check. So we'll just go ahead and take the pinion gears off of both of these motors and check which size fits. And I may have to run to the hobby shop to see if I can find a pinion gear. It's not moving. That was nice and locked headed on. I don't know if you guys heard that release or not. But here's a handy little trick. Whenever you take one out, you can take the grub screw out, just put it back in a little bit of the ways, and you won't lose it. So we pop that off of the brush motor, the brushless motor here. Set the truck off to the side. There we go. Pop that off. I don't know. I'm going to be able to, yeah, I'm going to have to take the motor off first. Okay. Well, just let that stay there for a moment. Two millimeter screw. Motor mount screws need to come out and keep those to the side because we're going to reuse those for the uh, for the new motor. Okay. Now, oh man, this is a booger. All right, give me just a moment, and I'm going to pop this pinion off, and I will come back and show you, once all this is fitted together, what the final product looks like. All right, we're back with the Sin Racing HL150 rebuild. Um, I got the motor switched out from the brushed motor to the brush list here. Uh, it went really, really smooth. The pinion gear fits right on from stock. Uh, I didn't have to do any adjusting. The motor mounts went in. The pinion mesh went in. I mean, it's as perfect as it gets, I think. And uh, I'm really, really impressed with how smoothly this went. Uh, I will come back here in just a moment with the next step. So bear with me here and, just, and I will uh, get the next step rolling. All right, now that we have our motor and everything mounted back up to the truck, or mounted up and uh, ready to go back into the truck, I should say, uh, the next step we're going to do is put the servo back in, or replace the new servo. Uh, let me pull this out of here really fast. I'm gonna take, let you guys take a look at the truck. We'll take a look at the servo in here. There we go. As you can see, it goes right into the bottom of the truck right here uh so we'll be getting into that uh there's four washers with four uh or four screws with four washers that you have to replace it with uh this should only take a minute or two and uh i will show you here in just a moment what the finished product would look like all 
All right, we have the servo reinstalled. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got the four bolts down in the bottom here uh, reinstalled. Uh, so the next part is going to be the motor reinstall. Uh, this is probably going to be the trickiest part as we're going to have to reattach all the links, uh, make sure everything's positioned correctly, and attach the servo back to the uh, servo horn here. So uh, this is probably going to take you the longest of the entire uh, swap, is putting it back together, uh, and making sure everything is lined up. Uh, the last thing that we're going to do in this build is put the ESC in, and that'll be in the last part of the video. So this part, we're going to try to get everything installed, uh, reassembled, and I will get back to you once that's done. Uh, I'll let you know about how long it's taken. Uh, it only took about three or four minutes to do the servo. So as far as that goes, that was really easy. It only took about five minutes to do the motor. So as far as it goes, we're maybe ten minutes into a build at this point. Uh, it's taken longer to disassemble the truck than it has to put the new parts in. Uh, it has been very simple. So I'm very, very happy as far as that goes. Uh, after that, we will get the ESC mounted and deal with cable management. So we'll be back in just a couple moments. All right, so an important step before reassembling the truck uh, is to reinstall the drive shafts. Uh, these drive cups come out of the transmission um, and they need to be put back in and the drive shafts have to be put back in before you fasten the motor to the truck. So, um, lesson learned, I guess. I almost fastened everything together and then had to take it all back apart because I didn't put the drive cups back in and I didn't have any drive. So, uh, make sure you put these back in before you fasten the motor back down. All right, well, we're back with the progress report on this uh, Sin Racing HL150 uh, brushless motor conversion. Um, I've got everything almost complete. Uh, I'm just now getting the servo reset uh, to recenter it. Uh, once we do that, we can attach the servo horn and then do the final assembly. Uh, all I would have to do at that point is just attach four bolts on the side and the battery tray, and we're done. Uh, the, links, the steering links on the bottom are attached. The only thing left is the servo horn itself. So uh, just to show you guys that it's running and everything's working properly, uh, we're going we're gonna to start it up and give you guys a, a demonstration. It does seem a little bit faster than stock. Okay, so the steering servo is centered. It's working just fine. And we'll pick up the truck. <laughs> And it has some power now. Holy cow. So, we're out of business, guys. Uh, this truck is going to have some serious performance now. Uh, this is a really simple conversion that I had from a ready-to-run that I had just laying around. Um, I've already done a motor conversion on it, so I decided to do, use its components for this truck. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. I think this is going to be a really competitive truck. And then once the upgrades come out, we're going to have a really, really nice piece of equipment right here. Um, so uh, let me come back to you guys with the finalized truck, uh, and then I'll get in here and I'll give you guys some close-ups and we'll show you what everything is once it's all completed and put back together. Well, all right. All right, as you guys can see, uh, the truck's all complete, put back together, uh, ready to roll. Uh, so, just letting you guys see that the steering is working just fine. Still not the best steering throw in the world, but you know what? For the truck, it's way better than it was before. It's gonna self stinner better. It's gonna steer a lot better. And the speed, I, mean, I gotta hold on to this thing now. She's a little faster now. So, uh, Give me just a moment and I'll get you guys up close and we can take a look at the truck better and see what we did up close. All right, we're back here with the Sim Racing HL150. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a close up look at what we've done to the truck. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's by and large a pretty ready to run truck. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of go through the modifications I've done to it. Uh, if you look at the front of the truck here, um, I've actually moved the shocks to the outer lower mounting position for the shocks on the front. 
Uh, the theory on that is to provide better steering stability and uh, better handling if it gets up on two wheels. Uh, it won't lose as much suspension travel that way. So if we look up under the truck, and this this will show you the steering servo that I've done. If we can get under here. All right, if we can get in there and focus on that just a little bit. Let's see if we can get in there and focus on that. There we go. There's the steering servo right there. It's the 5521. Uh, it's a Metal Gear servo. It came out of the JLB Cheetah. Uh, it's a good little servo. 21 kilograms of torque. Nice and strong. All right, so let's roll the truck back down here. All right. And then if you look up here, we've got the 60 amp uh, rebranded Hobbywing ESC right there on top. And then down in the bottom, the big show right here. If we can get a good view of that. It's a 3970 kV DHK hobby uh, brushless motor out of the DHK Cross. Uh, it's out of one of my personal trucks that I had around today. And then we got a 5200 milliamp 30C battery. Um, and that's that's our setup. That's what we're going to be running. All right, guys. Well, this has been Troy's Hobbies. Uh, we're going to try to get a little bit of a running footage if we can uh, of this truck. And so be on the lookout for that in the next couple of days. Thanks for joining in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.